is a 2v1 multiplayer battle. I am playing as a Swapey, and my teammate is playing as the Romans, and my opponent, or our opponent, is playing as the Athenians. And those are our, our uh, both our armies, me and the Athenian dudes, so he's got a lot of Hippias Lancers and some pikemen, along with, um, looks like Cretan, I mean, um, Rodinian Slingers with Cretan Archers, and he's got some Thorough Spearmen, and he's got Tarantine Cav, along with a, um, unit of Javelin Men. Sorry, that's my phone. Uh. Yeah, my opponent's name was Dr. Spaceman. I think that's correct, and my ally, who was the host of the battle, his name was, um, I don't know, something, I can't remember, something, Russia something, I can't remember right now, I'll show it to you guys later, so, let's see what his name is, oh, it's not gonna say, oh, well, it's something Russia, I'm sorry, man, but, uh, yeah, I don't remember off the top of my head, prepare yourselves for battle, yeah, that's his general, whom I think is this guy right here, since he's got the shiny armor, the golden tinfoil armor. And here's my dudes, I got two units of these Wonaz spears and two units of sword masters. Here they are. And my general's in a, uh, the noble rider's calf. Let's see if I can find my general, should be in the middle. And they all look the same. He's one of those dudes. Bear with me. And I got two of these Germanic Scout Riders, and they're going to be used for um, running down light infantry, which Run! he has a lot of. He's got a lot of uh, mercenary units. And I have four longbow hunters. Or wait, no, only three, excuse me. And my ally. He's got Praetorian Guard. Looks like four. I assume four. Yeah, and he's got these Syrian archers. And he is backed up by some the sulky uh, equite extraordinaires and of course his general unit so here's the situation I am moving forward and I saw my opponent he is trying to take this hill with um, infantry and light infantry but he didn't have his uh, cavalry supporting his dudes up here so I was gonna I went ahead and I charged in with one of my Germanic scout riders into his um into two units of slingers so I was able to route one and I'm routing one as we speak so that's a pretty good exchange that's a relatively um, cheap unit right here and I was able to damage two units in a quick strike quick preemptive strike and yeah he's reacting way too late to my horses he should have at least had one unit of cavalry with all his men so I'm gonna be able to run away and I only lost one uh, one rider right there, so that's a, pre that a pretty good victory uh, right there to top things off. And it's cool this battle's being fought at night. Adds a little something different. So he's got this force of throws hoplites up on the hill and he has his pikemen all alone with one javelin unit and he does have two units of Hippias Lancers they are uh, to the extreme right and they are gonna make a, a huge outmaneuvering um, attack if you're gonna go all around all the way around so let's see if they come back in time I'm sure he was gonna try to um, attack from behind either our cav units or our, our um, skirmishers so here he, he still has a lot of uh, skirmishers he has two Cretan archers and he does have still has three units of slingers so he still has a pretty uh, decent force of um, skirmishers I mean I'm not even targeting his skirmishers I want to get rid of his as many infantry men as possible because I know I'm just gonna waste time going after his um, uh, going after these guys because he has more of them and they're better quality and my uh, allies isn't uh, supporting 
my um, my skirmisher. He's just focusing on getting run, rid of these uh, pikemen. So I guess that's a good idea. But he could have at least given me one of those guys to help me out. But I didn't. I didn't say so in the battle, so it's not a big deal at all. But here I'm gonna flame his guys, and uh, they're doing exactly what I want him to do. He is marching forward, and at the same time. He, my opponent had the same idea, and he did kill a lot of my uh, Wonass Spearmen with uh, his own skirmisher. So he's going to charge forward and with some Tarantine Cab as well, and they are going to skirmish with my men. And seeing that I have uh, his guys are severely depleted, I'm going to go ahead and charge with my Spearmen, and then I'm going to charge in with my Swordsmaster. So let's take a let's take a look at these dudes. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad I got a new computer for this game. I'm just gonna leave it at that. So here's the situation. He's gonna... He caught my, uh... My... Units of... What's it called? My Scout Riders. With his Hippaeus Lancers. And his Tarantine Calf. And... My guys are gonna put a pretty good fight, but they're not going to be able to last that long. Yeah, see, they're going to route quite quickly. And seeing that his, um, this unit of Hippias Lancers is staying idle by, I'm going to try to get some shots off on him, but it didn't do any damage. Oddly enough. But his infantry is pretty much destroyed. Yeah, my... And now he's going to He's gonna try to run down my uh, skirmishers, and whom are open right now. And look at that, that's devastating. And at the same time, my guys are taking out, or trying to take out his skirmishers, my general unit. And let's see what my opponent's doing, or my teammate's doing. He is surrounding these pikemen with his uh, Praetorian guards, and they are dealing the business to these pikemen dudes. Yeah, they are totally surrounded and it doesn't look good for them. And let's see what's going on. Uh, I guess, I guess the Scipius Lancers got a little bit too behind. Or, uh, they got a pretty good position on his, uh, my ally's cavalry. So he's only got one, you know, uh, these sulky equites to attack these Scipius Lancers along with his general unit. And if I remember correctly, uh, my opponent does win that battle right there. So, so uh, in my center, I have countercharged his cavalry who were trying to take out my longbowmen. And now there's a fight in the center. It's a pretty, it's a pretty devastating fight. I'm not even gonna go into cinematic. Look at that. Doesn't that look sick right there? It looks like a movie. Huh. He's shooting his own men. Look at this guy. With his Tarantine calf. And look. Look at this guy. Oh, I lost him. Oh, there he is. Look at that guy. Oh, he's dead now. Yeah, my guys win in that engagement. And even though my general was heavily depleted by uh, all chasing down all those skirmishers, I was able to pretty much rout or kill those units with just this lone uh, uh, general unit of noble riders, and it's a pretty good trade-off. Yeah, if you can take multiple units with one, you know if you've done something... Uh, done something right. Even though I lost those scout riders, I think um, they did their job in taking out some of the, uh, his light infantry. So I'm going to say good game to, I think it was either Doctor or Mr. Spaceman. It'll, it'll say in the, um, on the screen at the end. Yeah, close close victory. So let's, let's end this. I think it'll say their names right now. No, it won't. Uh, yeah, it says right here. So my opponent was, yeah, Doctor Spaceman. Excuse me. 
and my the host, my ally, was Boris the Soviet Lo Love Hammer. So I like to say good game to those two guys and um, please like and subscribe to my channel. This is Unrivaled Skyrim and I'll see you later.